Oh, uh, well there, ladies and germs. Elf McFall here. Wow, I had to make a, a walking video here. All of us really spurred the moment. I just decided that when I was on that bus, I just got off on the 90 route because, my God, I got a beautiful sunset here. And it was a crappy day, all fucking day, and it snowed today, first snow of the year, November, what are we today, November 7th? I had to make a walking video of this gorgeous sunset, even if it's just partial, you can see it's just set, it's about, I don't know, 4.30, we're here in the Lachine sector of the city, you know, and it's just so beautiful. Why not make a little video moment of it? Don't know how much I want to film of it, but... Just trying to see if I got the, this thing on the right setting I wanted here. Mm. I'm gonna noodle that a moment. It's not bad. It should be better though. Uh, got a garage over here. Chrysler Sebring. An old S10. Yeah, there's a few old things around here. That's why I like coming here all the time. Mind you, I'm going to my uh, my parents' place for dinner. Oh, I see an old Jeep there, old CJ maybe. Look at that cloud. That's a pop beautiful, huh? Yeah. Old fucking Mazda. Oh, by the way, the name of the street here is Victoria. I actually found a bus ride on this fucking route just a few days ago. Yeah, look at that old CJ, nice. Look at that. AMC. Well, I think it's, a, yeah, it's an AMC probably. Look at that. Right on, which is the only vehicle that's still made today that's still actually recognizable as a Jeep, as is it was originally made fucking 75 years ago, 70, 80 years ago. Think about it, you know? Yes, sir, trottoir body. Trottoir means sidewalk, and body means locked. I want to make sure the sunshine is coming in as I. I'm filming it. Rush hour evening here. Look at that. There's a nice 328i convertible. Among all the other colorless cars, unfortunately. Gonna cross here real quick. Hey, that's a beauty, eh? Wow. Yeah, that's gonna be nice when it's finished. And you got an XCNR line here, Canadian National Railway. Yeah, look at those rims, eh? What the fuck is this, though? Yeah, these trucks have been abandoned for some time. But the Canadian Railway Company is still down there, that building there on the left. Where they rebuild and rebuild. Look at that sky. Fucking Christ, is that ever nice. You know what, let's just get more this way. Forget about fucking the street here. We're just gonna... We're gonna walk the rails. Ah, oh, isn't that stunning? I would have been a fool not to get off the bus to film it. I had to get off there anyway, just to take another bus to get to my parents' place. Look at that. Just take it all in. Okay, I'll sing you a beautiful song while you're looking at this beautiful thing. Ooh, somewhere over the rainbow. It's one of those songs that can make you cry, eh? Dreams that we dream of is somewhere over the rainbow. Da -da -da. And the dreams that you dream of will all come true. Believe in that guy again. He's a big, uh, he's a big, uh, big Hawaiian guy playing the uh, ukulele. Look at that! Jesus Christ, is that ever gorgeous? Oh my God! I can't believe it's more beautiful than when I got off the bus. Talk about timing! Holy fuck! Holy mackerel! Wouldn't that be great if it could last even longer? Look at that! By the way, this is the, uh, over here on the left, this is the ex-Dominion uh, Bridge Company. And this whole fucking area used to be covered with tracks. So there's two tracks here, but there actually used to be like, I think, five of them, I think. Oh my god, that is one of the most gorgeous fucking skies I've ever seen. I gotta stop and get a picture even. 
Oh my God, you know, when you happen to have the timing like that, I know I talk about a lot about timing, especially when it comes to fi thinking, filming the things vehicle-wise that I film, but the, when you don't see stuff, you don't see that every day, really. I don't think so. I mean, maybe unless you live in fucking one of the dry states, you know, like California, Arizona, places like that, New Mexico. But uh, really, just absolutely stunning. Hey, that's ironic. Look at this. Look at that Ford Ranger that just went by. That's ironic because I got a guy, I think he's going to subscribe to my channel. He shows up at my door this morning, 8 o'clock in the morning to buy a 51 Jaguar ad. So meantime, the whole time I'm thinking, well, this guy is going to be like 75 years old. He's coming to my place at 8 o'clock in the morning. No, the guy shows up. He's as tall as me. He's 45. He, he even fucking looks like me, for crying out loud. Seriously. And uh, even the salt and pepper hair, and we just commiserated and just totally hit off, you know. He's a teacher, art teacher, and uh, so, uh, hey, what's up, Danielle? Pleasure to make your acquaintance, and that's what he drives. For an orange Ford Ranger. I mean, I almost thought it was him. Like, how many of those did they make orange? Seriously. You know? Get some trucking action here. Look at that, eh? Decent. Look at that. Shit, I wish I'd filmed that separately from my trucking series. Oh well, whatever. <sighs> Don't you love it when you make the right decisions? You know, life, what is really life about? It's about fucking trial and error. That's what it's about. Look at that, I didn't even notice that. Holy shit. Mamma mia. Look at the sky. This is beautiful. Wow. Fantastic. And it's funny because, you know, the bus I was on goes on the St. Jacques Street overpass. And I thought, just before going over the overpass, I thought, oh, what if I we go by there and, and there's a freight train there? There was a fucking freight coming in. Jesus Christ, there was a freight coming in from, from the west. Like, right on the curve there. I'm like, oh my god, I would have made, I think I would have gotten in time if I had gotten off the bus. I think. I'm not positive. Ah! But it's goddamn cold though. Yeah. Apart from this sunset, the shitty, shitty season has begun. I think what would make this more complete though would be if I got some sort of response, especially fire trucks. I haven't got a fire truck responding in like, uh, like uh, two weeks. Two weeks. There's men. And I'm going to continue being the eccentric as I am. Right here on Victoria. Whoa, what the fuck is that? Is that a cloud? What is that? A lot of UFOs, you know, have been spotted at sunset. What's that? Oh, yeah. You want to be a fucking truck driver in this city, you pick the best time you could ever pick to become a truck driver in this town. With all the construction going on, man, they're in dire need of, of skilled uh, truck drivers, especially to dry haul uh, those fucking uh, dump trucks. And, um, wow. And long haul trucks and local delivery and tankers and you name it. Can you dig it? There's your old switcher there. It's the mechanism to switch the tracks manually. It's that I hear something hot there. Yeah. See that? Oh, how this would work would be that you would, I believe, raise this handle here, but now it's locked, so you'd raise that up and then you'd have to, like, turn it to switch the track, you know? Oh, good old non-scrap. That I always have to film. Actually, I'm going to stop. Man, that might be the thumbnail right there. I still can't believe it. Again, it was the shittiest day today, you know, and here we are. 
Here we are. I don't know, sometimes you're just freezing your tracks. You're just taken in by all that beauty, you know? It's just so splendid. It's so terrific. It's so... Uh, I always forget the name of the street here. William McDonald, that's what I think it is. Yeah. Look at that friggin' sky. Stop here a second, actually. Yeah, I mean, I really can't complain. Cheers, and peace and love to you all, seriously. You know? That's what the world needs, is peace. It's like we're having a renaissance of the late 60s and early 70s where people were chanting and wanting peace. It's kind of like that now, you know? There's another old Mazda pickup right there. Brr. Ugh. Can't help think of that song by Chicago. Does anybody really know what time it is? Does anybody really care about time? Yeah? But mind you, speaking of time since I'm talking about it, well, uh, yeah. I have to say, I have to say though, unfortunately, that, uh, yeah, unfortunately, it's gonna be like fucking dark soon. It's gonna be, in other words, almost five o'clock. Sorry to say. I guess that's what's good though. I was thinking about the other day before, before daylight savings happened, I was like thinking, you know what, that's the good thing about about January is that at least the days start to get longer and not only that it's sunnier it's not just fucking um, November or December being the darkest month because it because it gets dark at five but it's also of course unfortunately because it's often cloudy so that's why to me this sky right now is even more of a big deal frankly I just want to celebrate another day of living down da I just want to celebrate Another day of life, doing it all. Na, 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 na. Yeah, walking along in Lachine. It's one of the oldest places in the world. I'm serious, seriously. Mm -hmm. My God, a sunset like that, all is missing is the warmth, eh? Yeah. Seen a couple old cars here over time at this garage here. Well, maybe more than a couple. When am I gonna stop filming this? I don't know. Fuck. I'm enjoying myself. Whatever. I think what I'll do though is. Uh, I think what I'll do though is. No, uh, I guess I'll continue right here. That sunset, man. That fucking sunset. Hope I have this camera in the right setting, too. Oh, there's a nice non-scrap there. I'll probably jump on the 496 after this. It runs along on this road. And uh, it'll take me directly to uh, my mama and my father-in-law. Where we're apparently we're having pork. Yeah, I love meat. If you're a vegan, hey, you know, whatever. I had a friend once who was a vegan. It's your thing, you know? Me, I'll never become a vegan unless we run out of cows and so forth. <laughs> Pigs. Uh, I shouldn't laugh about that, should I? Oh, whatever. Are you kidding me? We've become such a fucking politically correct society. It's insane. You know? I, 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 uh, I was watching this interview with Jay Leno. It was funny as hell. He was talking about that, about political correctness. And he had this millennial who asked him what's his favorite food or what's the food he hated the least. He didn't. He says, "What's his favorite food or something?" And Jay Leno, he's like, he's like, "I hate Mexican food." And 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 the guy, the millennial, asking him the question, he says, he says, "Oh, that's racist." You know, <laughs> it's not racist if you don't like a certain type of food for crying out loud. 
Oi, oi, oi. Yep. There's a park there, beautiful little park. There's a sign here that says Lachine. Of course, I filmed it when I filmed a ride on the other 496 a few days ago. And But now I'm looking for... There's a sign that says uh, 1642, I think this. You would think I would have remembered it by now, actually, when, when this borough was founded. You know? Your lights are not on, your vehicle's up. Oh, my God. Look at this fucking Jeep over here. Primer. Yeah. Oh yeah, see three pastas to sell uh, that sky is trippy. Hey, you know I have a friend actually who lives near here. Coming up to him now. I recognize a Chevy Malibu 78 coming up parked over here. And uh, Steve, if you see this, what's up? Actually, you know what? I think I did I miss that uh, 496? I probably did, eh? I don't know. You'll get to see a little shot of this 50,000 miles 78 Chevelle in the uh In the sunset, how cool is that? Fuck, I would have rather done a, a video of it at sunset than when I did it on a cloudy day, but hey, whatever, at least it's summer and the grass is nice and greener and there's, you know, fucking uh, uh, leaves on the trees, you know. There it is. Hopefully it's going to go in storage though, because uh, it would be a shame for a car that original, not that it's rare, but to, for a car that original to to go uh, be driven in the winter, that would be wrong. Wrong, I tells you. You know? Yeah. There it is, 1667. Jesus Christ, I really must have dyslexia because it, takes me forever, it took me forever to remember it. I probably won't even remember it. I probably still think it was found in 1642. Oof, man, you think it's warm to be riding a motorcycle? Holy cow, there, that one's for you, Joe. That sunset, man, oh my god. The timing, this is gonna be one hell of a beauty. You know what this sunset reminds me of? I remember filming an exact sunset like this last year, this time, around this time last year, I was at a fire station. I never remember the fucking number of that station on Sherbrooke Street East in Pointe aux Trombe, and then they got a call, full rollout, with this amazing like station fire station literally right in the foreground of this amazing sunset i mean like holy cow that was really just triumphant okay i'm not getting warmer though because i'm not walking briskly like i always do oh mind you come to think of it you know and i do feel like walking towards the fire because i'm walking towards the fire station now fire station 64 uh, and oh my god, uh, to get them rolling out uh, right now, with even a little bit of sunset left like this, that'll be amazing. So I'm gonna see if I can hustle a little bit more. Hardcore fucking motors. Oh shit, you see that was the bus right there, I think. So, oh well, whatever. I would get my phone out of my pocket, but uh, I'm wearing gloves on, and you know when you can't feel if your papers are gonna slip out with the phone and fall on the ground, especially if there's money? Fucking lost my Tim card the other day. I didn't like that too much. Fuck, I had a free coffee coming and I lost the card. Somewhere in Beaconsfield or something, I don't know. Whatever. Okay, I'm gonna admit something. Come to realize something recently about the 31, 32,000 buses. Now where I live in Hochelaga, my area, there's tons of these fucking 31 thousands, especially on the 34, that's all it is. But the thing is, I've come to realize I appreciate something about them I didn't appreciate before. See, the, I like them more than those stupid hybrid buses because A, they're quieter, B, the seats are slightly better, C, the seating arrangement is much better, and what was the other thing too that I can't remember right now? I just, it's just, it, you know, they're just fucking annoying those hybrids and you can't open the windows, that drives me nuts. I mean, really, you wanna get fresh air? Forget about it, no fresh air. Here, Marco, that one's for you, buddy. There's your car, uh, 300 horsepower, fucking 300 something horsepower, uh, Impola. Ah, that sunset is unbelievable. Dynamite! Ooh, what's that? Wheel loader, nice. Okay, sure. Ooh, it's red. 
Oh. And there was a step van. I missed it there. Step van. Milk truck. Making deliveries. Older Grumman, but not that old because it's got a diesel in it. A fucking uh, shitty four-cylinder diesel on top of that. Oh, man. I... Uh, I gotta tell you, you know, I've done, obviously, a lot of walks at sunset. You know? But not this kind of sunset. What I, you know, because sunset... What I mean is I've done a lot of videos walking, like, uh, you know... Uh, with twilight, which means the sun is really low about to set. But no, this is really sunset. This is it, like, where the sky changed color. Like, uh, hey, speaking of oldies, look at this. I gotta show you guys, though, this Cadillac Eldorado. You see it really quick in that bus riot video I filmed here on the street a few days ago. What a great song playing by Iggy Pop. Check out this Eldorado. Ah, I would say. Well, it's a 79 to, uh... Oh, fuck, I'm sorry, I'm trying to put my glove back on. Caught this. Yeah, 79 to 85. There it is. You guys got a nice old Chev box Chevy there in the back, too. Yeah, good driver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but seriously, to go back to the UFO thing, and what I said about how they're more visible at night or especially at sunset, I would love to see a UFO. Oh my god. That'd be amazing. Something that has no relation to being made, made by a man. You know what I mean? Like, it's just... That would be, like, phenomenal. Even if it was just some red lights or whatever, you know, something that... You know, it has no, that could not be an airplane or aircraft or drone or nothing like that. You know, and I used to have a friend, you know, I used to have a best friend. He was the type of person where he believed he had to have a fucking scientific explanation for everything. Come on. That's preposterous. Really. There's just some things in life you cannot, there's just shit happens. And who are you going to call? <laughs> you know, and like, there's no fucking, there's no, wow, that's a beautiful color. There's no explanation for that, you know? So... Yeah. Watch your step here. Lots of cars. Oh, I think I'm gonna stop filming now. I think I've got enough footage. I think I've been filming for like probably more than 20 minutes now, anyway. And uh, it's not getting brighter now. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this thing there, and uh, I'll be able to be well. And of course, I always invite your wonderful comments. And again, check out my Patreon page. So become a supporter if you can. I'd be really, really appreciate it. Even if you can only chip in five, ten bucks a month, hey, it's all good, man. Seriously, fucking stupid customer service job I have is not working out, and I don't think it will. So, uh, again, uh, El Elton McFall saying uh, thanks for watching, and uh, over and out. 10-4.